I'm sure you've all heard that Gavin Newsom is working on a new memoir, tentatively titled The Grease. How a young white kid from upper middle class San Francisco with billionaire friends overcame the odds. That was actually my idea. Yeah, he loved it. And for those wondering, yes, there will be a special Joe Biden edition that tells you which side to start reading from. And you know, I've heard the comparisons to Obama, okay? I know he released his book right before becoming president. I mean, who does he definitely think he is? Barack Obama? <laughs> I mean, look, we even have an entire chapter in the book detailing exactly how Gavin will not be running for president. What should people be excited for with this memoir? Well, Gavin wants people to have a real California experience when they read it. So the second chapter from each copy has been stolen from the book. The criminals will not be punished. You're just gonna have to live uh, without chapter two. Then chapter three is kind of a how-to guide for people who wanna control and manipulate a large population of people. You know, like Peloton instructors, dictators, that kind of thing. Then the fourth chapter is actually a series of photos hand-selected by Mr. Newsom himself. He thought it'd be nice to give people uh, a break from all the words. Chapters 7 through 17 are a series of poems that Governor Newsom has written about himself, Shakespeare style. And so forthright said mine hair gel unto me. It's Newsomic pentameter. Each book will cost $6.66, and if you purchase in California, the additional taxes are only $472. Or just enter California illegally from the southern border, and we'll give you a copy for free. Sure, it'll be a great book to read, but it'll also work great to hit poor people with when they get too friendly. Mr. Newsom will require all California citizens to read the book, however, he himself will not read it. Not once, not ever, but you have to. You know, it was actually a pretty tough book for me to edit. Not because there were many structural issues, but more so because Gavin likes to write in his voice. Uh, for example, here's an excerpt from the book. <clears throat> and so, uh, when I finished my first term in office, <laughs> I knew, although I had not done much, uh, there was still so much more uh, not to be done. <laughs> Usually it's nice to read a book with the author's voice in mind, but it's got a little too much voice, I think. And the rumors are true, the memoir is complete. However, Gavin did have two amendments to make before we went to print. Amendment one was between pages 30 and 117, where he lists out every step of his daily hair care regimen. And the second amendment that Gavin made, he actually ended up canceling it and, and taking it away. So there's only the one amendment. Uh, he took away the second amendment, so um, nobody will have the Second Amendment. 